So Gary G puts this sign by the telephone, has it printed up real nice. Mm -hmm. This phone is tapped. Do not say nothing on this phone. You do not want the feds to hear. So what does Nicky Little do? And he says, I think you now owe me two G's a month. Can we go in position in the alley? So now I got to worry. The feds pick up Nikki when he comes to collect, who they are going to find can trace back to me. Nikki goes into, uh, whatchamacallit, that place on 14th, like he does every morning, 9 o'clock sharp. Unit four on the alley security. This morning, Nikki Little's espresso is not very good indeed. Fatal, in fact. Okay, let's go. Okay, move in. So the moral of this story, gentlemen, is that if you are going to be so dumb as to talk on Gary G's telephone, you should maybe take your espresso at some Starbucks. Listen to what I'm saying. All right, ladies, That's up it. against the wall. Let's All right, go. Hey, keep your hands ready. Right Come on, Donatello. Get your hands hey, Leon, out of the pocket. You know what I Frankie Gotti. I have here a warrant for your arrest, for the murder of John Edwards, for the murder of Albert Berliner, and for the attempted murder of... And I have the right to remain silent and an attorney. Yes, sir, you have that right. Mr. Guardian. And who are you? Guy who's gonna prosecute? I'm assistant, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you got? You got a witness? You got maybe Sonny Boy Gaviano? <laughs> You'll find out in court. Sonny boy ain't never gonna testify. You make one move to intimidate our witness, or otherwise... Hey, who's talking intimidation? I'm talking character. You counting on Sonny boy Garbiano, you counting on garbage. Your Honor, this is harassment, pure and simple. And for the fifth time, the government has hauled my client into court when it doesn't have a case. Well, we have a case. One more witness, Your Honor. Mr. Hammond, where is your witness? He's currently being transported. He'll be here this afternoon. You can have until tomorrow morning. Thank you, Your Honor. Don't be so fast, Counselor. I want you to know that if you do not have your witness in this courtroom within the next 24 hours, I am very inclined to entertain a motion for dismissal. 24 hours. The witness shall appear, Your Honor. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to. Pride, U.S. Marshal. What happened to your officer? Uh, we had a shooting incident, sir. He shot through the window. He's not hurt, though. Mr. Grace? He's fine. He's just awfully shook up. So who wouldn't he? Uh, we've got the streets cordoned off. Forensics is inside. I feel really bad about this. You asked us to watch the house, but I staked my guys out a good two blocks away. We were trying to keep a low profile. Just like you said, maybe we should have been closer. Oh, man. You know, lucky for me, the cops were outside. Luck had nothing to do with it, did it? No, ma'am. You knew there was a problem? He was afraid you were going to run, Sonny Boy. Happens sometimes. Oh, man. 
As far as they're concerned, you're still Mr. Grace. I'm the only one who knows that you're Sonny Boy Gabbiano. And that... Please, I thought we had an agreement. I'll be in the kitchen. You ready to go? Do I have a choice? I'll give you a couple minutes to get your stuff together. Wait. They told me this couldn't happen. They, they, they told me the witness protection program couldn't be breached. You got to do something. You, you got to give me a new name. OK, sonny boy. After you testify. This is no longer a safe house, ma'am. I'm afraid I'm going to have to move you, too. I'm fine, really. Fine. It's not me they're after. Where were you when this happened? Upstairs in my bedroom. Can I see it? Do you, uh, you and your husband, do you, uh... This program of yours, it does things to people. You know what I'm saying here? No, what do you mean? You want to know if my husband and I sleep together? No, we do not sleep together. Satisfied? He gets up in the middle of the night, he has to go to the bathroom. I'm a very light sleeper. Hmm. Where's this one? Down the hall. The boys are away at school. I'll have a man here in about 25 minutes. His name is Pontarelli. Make sure he shows you his badge. This really isn't necessary. Well, maybe not. Humor me. Look, Marshall, nobody cares about me. I care about you, honey. I know that, honey. OK. Well, don't go anywhere. Don't answer the phone and don't call anybody. I promise. All right, but take care of yourself. We'll call you as soon as we get to court. Call any of your old associates? No, never. How about Annette? I, I, I can't do this. You don't think your kids might have told some of their friends in school? I didn't even hear the gunshot. I, I saw the flash. I thought it was dead. You know what's interesting about witness protection? When it falls apart, it's usually from the inside. Kind of like people. You know what I mean? I made a mistake. Well, you joined the club, sonny boy. Could have been the Shriners, but it wasn't, so... It's just time to move forward, that's all. What's that short for? Salvatore Bartolini. I... I can't do this. That's something you're gonna have to take up with the U.S. Attorney, sonny boy. No, 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 I'm telling you, man. These guys want to kill me. No, it's all right. You're scared. That's natural. Everything will be fine. I'm... 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 I'm not a brave man. You don't have to be brave. You're with me. Sonny boy, you got two kids, right? Yes, a boy and a girl. Boy and a girl, that's good. You know, 
Sometimes to do the right thing is the hardest thing in the world, but I'll tell you, when I go home and I look my little girl in the eyes... All right, all right, all right. look, look, you're, uh, when you're right, you're right. Tired? Huh? How about a soda? It's pretty warm. It's been sitting in the car all day. Welcome to it. I remember one time I had to chase a guy two miles through some alfalfa. I can't testify. Corn looks to be more abrasive. I have cancer. I'm supposed to be dead already. Five months ago, doctors tell me I have a 2% chance of survival. 2%. When I mean, you hear 2%, what you're hearing is nothing. Death sentence. Yeah. And here you are. <laughs> here I am. Remission. That's what they call it. Remission. Oh, man. Yeah. And Annette's got the big bedroom, too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, witness protection, that can put a strain on a marriage. I understand that. So, separate bedrooms, yeah, I can see that. But there's no way that a made guy like Sonny Boy Gabbiano is going to give his wife the master bedroom. You're not Sonny Boy, are you? No. No. I'm Paul. Paul Camaras, I'm Sonny Boy's cousin. Where's Sonny Boy? Oh, I don't know. I am not very happy. I am not very happy at all. He's not a very happy oh, man. Please, tell him. I, I'm sorry. Tell him I'm sorry. Sorry? He walks into my office with an attorney, says he's Sonny Boy Gabbiano and that he's ready to testify? But you never questioned his ID. He was never arrested. There were no fingerprints on file. We don't even have a photo of the guy. I'm sorry, OK? I, I, I lied. I did. I, I'm a liar. I wish I were dead. He lied to an assistant U.S. attorney. You lied to an assistant U.S. attorney. I lied to the whole world. And you lied to me. I lied to my wife? That's a federal offense. What? Does that mean I can't go home? No, you can't go home. Oh, man. Guardian's gonna walk because of that little weasel. No, he thinks we got Sonny Boy. That's why he ordered the hit. That's right. Yeah, but we don't got Sonny Boy. But we don't have him yet. You got 21 hours, Marshal. No problem. Winston, can, can I... Can I... Hello? That's the third time today, Sonny. Next time you answer the phone. I got a better idea. What? Sonny! Who needs it?
all my cousins connected. But still, we, we grew up together. I mean, he'd always pick me first on the team so I wouldn't be the last one to be picked. And Sonny Boy, Sonny Boy is the guy that told me to get life insurance. bad this way, but I'm the kind of guy that's always putting things off. You know, it's next year I'll get the life insurance. Next year. And then, well, next year came and I got the cancer. And I don't have the insurance. So then Sonny Boy got the word that, that he was all over these FBI tapes. Hey, look, man, I'm really sorry. That was all my fault. Now, he suggested it to me, but it was, it was my decision. I... I go into witness protection. I'm dead before Guardian even goes on trial, and uh, I'm thinking, you know, it's it's not the way I want to go, right? But at least this way, Sonny Boy is taking care of my family, which is important to me, and and I get to save my cousin's life. How'd Sonny Boy take it when he heard you weren't going to die? Oh no, he doesn't know. The only people that know are you, me, and my doctors. What about Annette? Annette? <laughs> are you kidding? Winston, I couldn't tell Annette. Make her crazier. Yeah. Sounds like the two of you had quite a relationship there. Oh, yeah. You know what I want? I want to be able to call up my wife and tell her the good news. Well, you help me find Sonny Boy, and I'll... I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Winston. Don't mention it. I got the court order to the phone company half an hour ago. The check in the pen register should have it any time. I'm sorry, Winston. What can I say? You already said it. Just give me the number. I'll find her. Don't worry about it. It's long gone, I'm telling you. Hates this place. Hates me. She went back to Sunny Boy. How do you know all this stuff? I keep an open mind. Well, this is the peak season. We shouldn't be going on vacation, Sonny. Right before I came here, I had these friends. I had this business disagreement. Hey, their problem is their problem. I figure better an island in the Caribbean than a subpoena. I thought we were going to Canada. First Canada, then the islands. Think warm, think romantic. Think deodorant. You get to the Caribbean, honey, you're gonna sweat like a horse. Sonny. How long are we going to be gone? Pack anything you might miss. Uh, I don't know. I don't get the guy sometimes. I mean, I don't even know what Sonny sees in the woman. I mean, he's generous. He's kind. He's a low-level mobster. Winston, you never even met him. Not yet, I haven't, Paul. Look, let me, let me tell you about this guy. This is a guy. He sponsors basketball teams for underprivileged children, kids. He With never... extortion money. Hey, hey, he's a survivor. He did what he had to do. What he had to do? I'm not saying the guy's a saint. All I'm saying is he deserves better than Annette. Yeah, give me a helicopter. I'm there in an hour. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Gabbiano. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
What did you think was going to happen when you walked into that courtroom, Paul? I... I didn't know what to think. Sure you did. Every federal agent in the country would be out in the streets looking for Sonny Boy Gabbiano. Oh, see? I... I'm so selfish. I, I wasn't thinking that. I, I wasn't even thinking about Sonny Boy. What I was thinking was, what am I going to say when I get on the stand? That was in her bedroom when the hit came down, wasn't she? Right. Yeah. Yeah, her car was parked on the street so the hitman could just drive right up to the house. What are you saying? That made the call? She gave me up? Remember what I said about witness protection? Well, she's as inside as it gets. Sonny Boy's gonna kill her. You know what I think, Paul? I think if you're dead, I'm not looking for Sonny Boy anymore. Guardian's got nothing to worry about. Annette's got her husband back. Everybody's happy. But I'm family. Tell Frankie there's another chick in there, besides the wife. He wants us to whack the other room, too. Find out if he wants to spend the extra dough. What's this? It's a party. Frankie lets us hit them all. Maybe we can take the rest of the summer off. Felicity, sweetheart, please. Sweetheart? You told me your first wife was dead. I didn't want to burden her. A bigamist. I can't believe this. You made me a bigamist. He's the bigamist, honey. You're the bimbo. I can explain. Isn't this great? Everybody's here. OK, let's go. You should have worn my other shoes. What is going on here? She really doesn't know. Who is this woman? OK. OK, just everyone a minute, OK? There are a few things about me maybe I should have told you before. Like what? Everybody out. Let's go. Come on. Out the back door. Let's go. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. no, no. What's going on? Let's go. Where are we going, Sonny? Ow! Stop pushing me! Go. the shore without passing them? Not for miles. It's nothing but rock.
We sit here. We wait until dark. We keep them covered. What are you doing? I'm thinking. What good's thinking gonna do us? It's what you should have done in the first place, sweetheart. If you'd done it to begin with, we wouldn't be here at all. She's got a point there, sonny boy. Why do The Marshal will continue in a moment here on ABC. Wednesday on... Quite a day, Sonny. First I find out my husband's in the mob. Then I find out he's not even my husband. We had a plan, Sonny. All you had to do was follow the plan. I changed. I became like this different guy, normal. I took care of you and the boys. I took care of Paulie's kids. <gasps> Did you think I was gonna do something stupid? You think I was gonna give you away? Paulie doesn't die on schedule. I'm doomed to a life on the run alone. You know me. Truth is, both of you. I love you both. So, Winston, what's the plan? Did you ever play Marco Polo when you were a kid? No. Kind of like blind man's bluff, only in a pool in the dark. One person is it, and he's looking for the others. When he says Marco, they have to say Polo. And they keep moving, see? He can't see them. He can only hear them. I think we're going to play Marco Polo with these guys. Only in a bigger pool. Yeah. But they don't have their eyes closed. We'll play Canadian rules. You're not getting paid to sit here. Dead guys don't get paid at all. I'm bored. 95% of this job is boring. It's the other 5% that keeps you going. You know, all we gotta do is keep them away from the shore. Sonny boy don't make it to court tomorrow. Frankie's got nothing to worry about. They can sit here today, tomorrow, don't mean a thing to me. Sonny boy. I'm sorry. I didn't die when I was supposed to. Don't you ever apologize for that. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Your boys, they, they look just like Sonny. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at anybody. Got a life raft on board? Uh, inflatable. How well do you know these waters? I've been here my whole life. You think you can run it back in without lights? Yeah, no problem. Good. You run when they run. When they shut their engines down, you shut yours down. When you get past them, get to land and call for help. Here you go, Winston. I'm not gonna cuff you out here in the water, sonny boy. But I am gonna take that weapon. Who's gonna protect the women? You're not going with the women, you're going with me. Does that mean I'm under arrest? For the past two hours. Come on. Life raft. What are they gonna do, paddle ashore? That'd be very sweet. Thanks. 
I should have never made that call. You thought I was a dead man, right? I just thought you were gonna die, and I... I miss Sonny Boy so much, I... Well... In a weird way, I... I understand. We're off to our right. Boat's heading in. He wants us to chase the raft. Yeah, the boat goes while we make our own noise. The guy's playing Marco Polo. It's practically advertising out there. Exactly. What if you're wrong? There's nobody there to take care of them. Don't worry about it. What the hell are you doing? Somebody's out on a raft. We know where it is. No. I can see him. I, I, I think Sunny Boy's okay. Uh, uh. I gotta. I gotta. All right. All right. Okay. He's not gone. Don't you dare tell me he's gone! I'm sorry. Listen to me, Sonny Boy. I don't live any place with you. We were gonna be okay. I promise. We're gonna be fine. life for us. Salvatore Gabbiano. 
otherwise known as Sonny Boy. Do I sound convincing? No. But Winston, I know everything. I mean, I gotta do something. I screwed this all up. It was screwed up long before you got into the picture poorly. You're not Sonny Boy. I know, but, but they don't. It's their word against mine. How are they gonna prove it? They'll ask me, and then I'll have to lie. What's one small lie? Look, Guardian killed my cousin. He tried to kill me. I bet she killed 20 guys. What's one small lie compared to that? It's one more than I personally allow myself. All right? We'll be back in a minute. Come on. Softy. Sometimes. What about me? What about me? Mr. Hammond, can you produce your witness? Your Honor, our witness, Sonny Boy Gabbiano, was murdered last night. Uh, we're very sorry to hear that, Your Honor, but under the circumstances, the defense must move to dismiss the indictment. Your man did this, Wasson. I would like that stricken from the record. Yes, yes. Can the government produce evidence that the defendant was party to the obstruction of justice in this matter? We're working on it. The government, having failed to present a prima facie case against the defendant, Frank Guardian, the court has no recourse but to release Mr. Guardian. You did a great job, Lou. A great job. I didn't do anything. I told you, Sonny Boy, wouldn't it bear? I don't want to know. Take it, Lou. Take it easy. You're among friends here. You're my man, regardless. Hello, Frank. Ned, come over here. Sit down with us, Annette. I saw it, Frankie. I saw them kill Sonny Boy. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have been put in that situation, and I appreciate that fact. I'm out of here. No. You stay. This was a big thing. You show her some respect, giving up her own husband, a huge thing. Yeah. Take it. 25 Gs and more coming, and that you earned it. I can't take the money, Frankie. You feel bad. Of course you feel bad. We all feel bad. Sometimes we gotta do things we truly do not wish to do. I'm knowing Sonny Boy, we were five years old. <laughs> he used to pound me for harassing his cousin Paulie. It killed me what I had to do. I was there. I saw it. Not taking the money ain't gonna bring Sonny Boy back in that, you know that. Let me do this one thing for you. He was running. How could he hurt you if he was running? You know I can't take that chance. I could have done it at the charter place, and that you know that. My guys called me. Wait a minute, I said. I don't want nobody getting hurt doesn't need to be hurt. Frank. Shut up. I don't know, Frankie. I mean, wasn't there some other way? From my heart, I wish there were. But there wasn't. Sonny Boy had to die, and I had to kill him. I ain't afraid to say it. I killed Sonny. Right, I did what had to be done, but I made sure you were okay. That's a big thing, Annette. That is a very big thing. Come on, Annette. You gotta get out of there. It's heavy. You don't think about money as being heavy. You're a fine woman, Annette. I loved him, Frank. 
I really love that guy. What is the matter with her? She can't take yes for an answer. Let's go. We all gotta make sacrifices. My soldier, one of my warriors, got killed. He was like a son to me. We're talking about my husband. Listen, you're gonna be taken care of, and that I swear my mother's grave. Listen, you wanna feel better? I gotta tell you something. My hurdy had a chippy on the side. Anywhere, Frank. Drop the piece, Frankie. Get them out of here. No. Everybody, take it easy. Stay back or she dies. She dies, you die. She dies first. Nobody dies. How about we start there? Don't look too good, Frank. You're gonna watch her die. Go to hell, Frank. You ready, Annette? Where are you gonna go, Frank? Don't push me, Marshal. No, you gonna go fishing? Cross me. Where are you gonna go? Grand Cayman? What other choice have I got? My finger's itching, Frank. Take it easy. I'm going to take something out of my pocket. Nobody overreact. No negotiations, McBride. That's policy. Nobody else dies, Mr. Hammond. Don't do it. We do not negotiate in hostage taking. My decision. Easy, Frank. Your decision, Frank. Annette, are you bragging about how you killed Sonny Boy? Come on. That ain't the tape. Maybe yes, maybe no. That ain't the tape. There's only one way to find out, Frank. Throw it on the ground. So how'd I do? Good. You just shot Sammy Davis Jr. What? Nobody carries around a tape of Sammy Davis Jr. Ah, shut up. You better not be lying about that tape, McBride. Thank you is the correct statement here, Mr. Hammond. You say thank you very much, Marshal. I see you're very welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. Sonny Boy always loved Sammy Davis. You should have come out earlier, like we rehearsed. I got something to tell you. You're gonna hate me. You see, uh, that it was your idea from the get-go for Polly going for Sonny Boy. How did you know? You know, for a wrong guy, Sonny Boy wasn't the worst I ever encountered, but I gotta tell you, he wasn't the brightest either. You married, McBride? Yes. I used to yell at Sonny Boy. He would make me so mad. Annette, you know where you're going, don't you? Witness protection. Yeah. Marco? Marco? Back in a moment, here on ABC. You get the most beautiful. Next on The Marshal. She would never run away. Did you and your daughter by chance have an argument before she left? Negative. I will blow you up and away, buddy. Me too. Her name, what is it? Lorez. 
Hey, baby. Where's Louis? <laughs> Louis. You get it back to me now, Mr. Brown. I want you to introduce me to Louis. So what do you want? Ever see this girl? Louis Lou, I grabbed her. I want to live with you, Daddy. This is Charles Gibson. And Nancy Snyderman. Tomorrow, what men and women need to know about prostate disease. Also, how to wire your entire house for sound. Plus, Tanya Tucker on Good Morning America. Tomorrow, here on ABC. Stay tuned for the conclusion of James A. Michener's Texas at ABC Novel for Television. Coming up next.